Hello and welcome to GFW Radio's 100th podcast. Actually, this isn't a podcast. You're going to have to come back next week for the 100th podcast because the usual leader of GFW Radio, Jeffrey Green, is out sick this week. And other things have prevented us from taping, even though we're sitting here taping right now. So, you know, we're lying to your asses. <laughs> um, and this is Sean Elliott speaking, by the way. I'm here with... Ryan Scott. And Sean Malloy. Because we need an intro for an announcement. That's right. So, <laughs> Jeff is sick. <clears throat> Proof of his sickness I, I hold in my hand right here. Um, he and I have been working on what was supposed to be a new promo for the podcast. Uh, Zooty Granny put together what he dubbed an old school beat at Jeff's request. Jeff wanted some Eric B. Rakim style shit so he could so he could spit a, a promo rap. And he sent me some of his lyrics that he was working on. And what I saw was that, one, he was sick. <laughs> and that, that, two, there's no way this is going to fly with an EIC saying this shit on a promo that appears on all of our podcasts. So what will probably happen, I'm not going to read it all because that will... Uh, I don't want to spoil it because we'll probably make it uh, just like an intro or a skit for the, our, our, you know, a regular episode. Maybe next week if Jeff gets well. But so he sends me his sample <laughs> lyrics. He's all getting excited, which is awesome. I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> but the lyrics, though, some of them go like this. We're GFW, bitch. We got our fans by the thousands. We take our girlies into bed like Sony takes Shane Bettenhausen. And... Uh, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Turn-based war games. Stack the units on the hexes. Why don't you bend it over backwards and let me show you now what sex is? <laughs> so, Je- Jeff wrote that? Yeah. <laughs> that came from Jeff. Yeah, and I was hilarious. I was saying, well, actually, I haven't written my part yet, but I was I was going to write it of, like, the whole scenario is his mom and his daughter coming into his bedroom and catch him recording his, his shit because he's going to have to record his lines at home. He, I gave him the copy of the beat, and I told him to just, like, play it. <laughs> Wrap that into your microphone. Stay on beat. Send it over to to the producer, and he'll he'll put it together. But you gotta ima- imagine like you're Jeff's wife, and you walk in the room, <laughs> and you hear your husband saying these things at his computer screen. <laughs> so, <clears throat> no, Jeff. That's only one one form of Jeff sickness. He's he's Sean. You know more than all the rest of us. He's got some kind of bad flu. Super flu. So sounds pretty serious. And the rest of us too. We just. I haven't been playing enough games this week. It's been a busy week. We we have, this happens now and then. Yeah, you and can hear me talk about World of Warcraft if you want it. I don't think you want to do that. Right. And you you'll be able to hear that on Legendary Thread. You guys taped something that sounds pretty cool for Retronauts. Is that already out now? Tomorrow. Comes out tomorrow. When you hear it, it's out tomorrow. It's about a Sim series. Anything with Sim in front of it. And then uh Except oh, Tim, Sim Tower apparently. Yes, we miss Sim Tower. <laughs> <laughs> That's an oversight I can't forgive. <laughs> and then uh, I'll be on one of yours on coming out on Friday. Oh, so. boy. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't sound sincere about anything, can you, Ryan? Sure I can. All these, we joke about, <laughs> we, we never have any preparation. You, I mean, we, and we rarely have any real preparation for the show. But at the same time, I try to play games at least in preparation for it. And so just by... Because of, you know, I was doing a few other things this week. D- didn't get much time to catch up, but I'm now in Mythos. So next week on GFW, we'll be able to talk on that, and I can get you guys accounts if you want to try Oh, hell yeah. I want to try that The one. third, third uh, version just came out, and then I got to play some more games for one of yours. Yours. Like the Battlefield. <laughs> okay, that's out. The, the longest announcement ever. Yeah. Send so send Jeff your... Sorry. If you play WoW, send him Pear Pies. Is a... Count as Egbert. <laughs> Not just send him a get well note to his inbox and one up forms or whatever. He'll need it. He'll, he'll appreciate it. He'll he'll be he's probably online looking right now. Yeah. They better be pissed off that there's no show this week. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryan, you got a like a, a five a one minute version of your input for the podcast? Um Lost. When don't oh God. You, you know, wanna, you want to get me started on Lost? Get, dude, we can do okay. a quick version. <laughs> the, the theory of time bullets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got to talk okay, about time so bullets. Beep, spoiler zone. Uh, and you want to turn this shit? You you didn't even want to turn this on in the yeah. first place. Yeah, the announcement <laughs> is still done. Here. Yeah, if po- you haven't already turned this crap off. Yeah, this podcast is over, but we're just gonna sit and talk for a couple more minutes. So last week's show, the characters Carl who I know is uh, the Habsburg lip, <laughs> and uh, Danielle <laughs> were shot. Yeah. And it was it was edited in such a way that you can't tell who or, or under what specific circumstances they were shot. And that has left some people to speculate 
according to what, what I'm calling the time bullets theory. And because it's been established that on the island, there's some sort of temporal anomaly surrounding it. You know, when they shot the rocket in, it was off time. It took, you know, however many minutes longer to arrive than it ought to have. 31 minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Uh, so 31 minutes. Now, <laughs> given that, that they took the time to establish something like that, people are saying, well, the guys that were shooting clay, clay, you know, clays off of the ship, off the freighter, that it was their bullets. The time bullets. The time bullets. Hence the time bullets that landed on the <laughs> island. Ah, really? And they're serious about it. And they're, they've actually edited, you know, GIFs. Dot gif files together, <laughs> splicing the two scenes, showing you that like every pause in the fire that you could see in the final scene is like perfectly you know coordinated with any you know reloading and stuff that's going on in the scene on the boat. Of course, it's totally stupid. The first thing you're like, well, MP5 can't doesn't have that range. I mean, dude, the idea of shooting an MP, you can't even see land from the boat. So it's not just time bullets. It's like gravitational right. uh, magnetism, Going a tesseract or something. Yeah. The hell? <laughs> um, and then of course. Everyone else has pulled, you know, stills from that scene where, you know, the assassination scene where you could see people moving around in the bushes. You can actually see their silhouette. And then there's some guy who, like, he had a close up of the dude, like, whatever the person's shoulder, or whatever. And he's like, there's a Dharma logo right <laughs> yeah. there on the there's shoulder. Like a pl- uh, yeah, there's like, like a little patch of white. I did the dumbest thing. <laughs> well, maybe it was thing. one of those sharks. <laughs> yeah. It could have been the shark. It could have been, it could have been, what's his name? Vin- Vincent, Vincent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. <laughs> and it, we have all the, I mean, we're like, we, me and, me and Ryan, we're just like, well, duh, Ben wants both of those people dead. And that makes perfect sense that if he's in contact with any of the other others. Right. Guy Liner among them. Guy Liner, <laughs> I forget his name, but. His, oh, name, his name is Pirate Man. His name is yeah, Richard yeah. Alpert. Yeah. So it's probably Guy Liner. That's and he, theory. that guy, that actor, he, he left the show to do um, a another show for a different network which got canceled I believe as part of the writer's strike and so he's going to be back on Lost <laughs> so there well, we good. go That's it was him I'm glad uh, story continuity can exist <laughs> <laughs> there was something else to say about oh yeah in the process of before I, I had it confirmed and I saw the, the, the animated clip showing that the people were moving around in the bushes were at the site of the murder mm-hmm. I was arguing with Rory, who's like a time. He's the he's lead, the time bullet, time like, bullet proponent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really he's serious about these really? time bullets? Yes. As far as I can tell, he's that's what he believes happened. He doesn't want it to be, and he thinks it's totally stupid. But he's <laughs> in the point where he's he doesn't like the show anymore, uh-huh. so he's looking for reasons to hate it. Right. So I think that, <laughs> that would that's be a like, good reason. Yeah. Um, but I was I stupidly went to the lost forums, the official ones. Just to see, because I figured they would track all this, that this is the place to go when you want to find, you know, stills from the show. Oh, I'll give you the place to go for that. <laughs> silence. I'll give you a better uh, place. An awkward silence. I'll give you a better place to go for that. Okay. You, okay. Could, you could send me there. <laughs> um, and on this forum, it's kind of like the version of every forum, I guess, but I was just surprised to see, like, you know, you have signatures in forums, mm-hmm. and it would be, like, pictures of Vincent, and it would just say, like, Vincent forever, and then there's all these ones of couples, you know? It's, like, either a picture of, like, Jack and Kate together, or, like, um, what's his name? Sawyer. <laughs> Sawyer and Kate together, and then all these just, like, poetic lines about true love and shit. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it is, <laughs> and then the theories they're talking about, like any, I mean, just anything that happened on the show, it didn't matter. Like, someone, did you notice that someone's socks had a stain on it? And then there'll be like 10,000 words devoted to figuring out how that got there. It was like the mind of madness. Well, I showed you, wow. I, sh- I linked you guys to that theory I'm always going off about is like the pinnacle of insane theories, the one with like Locke, where the dude thinks that like Locke is a a death row inmate and he's like on the electric chair and he's imagining all this stuff while he's frying and like all these characters are aspects of like Locke's personality and that was a John Cusack movie yeah well yeah, apparently according to this very devoted fan who's written about 8 billion words about it that's lost as well I prefer yeah, if, the it, if it turned out to be the same plot as identity I'm gonna kill <laughs> someone the version of this this that I prefer is there's a photograph of a bunch of people in some Florida car lot that have come because of a ver- uh, an image of the, the Virgin appeared on one of their windows. And, of course, what it was is that the sprinklers for the palm trees around the lot um, were hitting the window, and it crazed the, whatever the, the acetate sheet or whatever they had to block the sun out, and then it created, you know, weird shapes, and they thought it was a Virgin. And there's this picture. It's super it's eloquent picture, and it's just thousands of people huddled around it, 
looking to be healed. In this, I, I prefer that version of like the one that that Ryan's. They mentioned that <laughs> they mentioned that event on the show. Remember, when they were talking about how like that happened, like the, these people, all these people came to see like this alleged image of the Virgin Mary. Oh, well, that, happens, that happens all, happens all the, the time. time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just on one. toast. There well, was, like, I mean, the dog's ass. There was like the <laughs> like time <a> that <laughs> butthole. You never seen that? I, don't that I, I remember Jesus one specific point butt. when it was like on somebody's garage or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, that whole thing. Yeah, I mean, it's just like significance junkies. That's lost in a nutshell. They make me ashamed. Your ultimate, your whole ultimate theory is how they all played on the same McDonald's swing set when they were kids. No, that's going to be revealed at the end. (laughs) Every the final flashback, you'll just see them all in the same like McDonald's playland. (laughs) Their constant is the Fry Guys. Okay, (laughs) we got to end the announcement. (laughs) What are we talking about? (laughs) Let's take a break for our announcement. Okay. Okay. So we'll be back in five minutes after this break.